you're looking to buy ultimate team coins, check out FIFAcointrader.com for a fast, reliable service. What's up guys, Gunlister here bringing you another play review and this time it's second in form Nicolas Gaetan, the Argentinian midfielder who plays for Benfica. Now this is the team I'm going to be playing him in, a mixture of my La Liga side and I've managed to fit him in um, due to his nationality. So I've got him surrounded by Argentinians giving him the full nine chemistry and you've got a dangerous Argentinian front three up top. So taking a look at him, he's played 10 games for me and scored me 12 goals which is really good for a left forward. He's 5 for 8, he's left footed, he's got 2 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. I was originally asked to review his first in form, but I haven't got round to it yet, and now he's made a second form, I thought I'd definitely review him. So take a look at his in-game stats. He's got 89 ball control, 92 crossing, 99 curve, the maximum, 90 dribbling. The other standout stats are 91 long pass, 88 long shots, 83 penalties, 83 shot power, and he's also got 95 volleys. And he's 5 for 8. He can play as a right mid, left mid or centre attacking mid. He's left footed. He's got a medium attacking work rate as well as a medium defensive work rate. He's got a 2 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. His physical standouts are 87 acceleration, 96 agility, 83 balance, 93 reactions, 85 sprint speed. And then he's also got 62 strength. He has 81 attacking position and 86 vision. Now those in-game stats do look immense so I had high expectations for this player. Now playing him as a left forward or even as a left midfielder there's certain things that you're going to expect from him. You're going to expect that he's going to be able to distribute the ball, be able to pass, cross the ball in, also get in behind, have decent pace, be able to dribble and be able to finish. Now let me tell you this guy does not disappoint. He can do all of those and more. This guy is absolutely awesome. I didn't have that high expectations from him. I knew very little about him before I used him but you know what he's He's absolutely amazing in terms of his long passing is ridiculous now normally as a player that far up the pitch their long passing is not very good you normally expect that from your center midfielders or your center attacking midfielders but this guy can ping a pass 40 50 yards it doesn't matter he will get the ball there for you and he can create attacks or just split a defense open with a, an amazing pass what he also is dribbling is insane he's got like 88 dribbling on his card and he can weave in and out of players he's got amazing balance and agility and acceleration as well his card only had 81 shooting, but I found it better than that. Whenever he was in and around the box, he worked the keeper or, more often than not, beat the keeper. He scored me 12 goals in 10 games, which is absolutely amazing. It like exceeded my expectations from him. I wasn't expecting that many goals, expecting probably half that, to be honest. But every time he got a decent chance, he put it away. And his finishing is quite low, but he has got a decent curve and he's got an amazing finesse shot as well. This guy was an absolute steal at 27k and his price will probably continue to go down. Now for someone with his in-game stats and his ability, that is just simply ridiculous. If he was in a more popular league, then he'd be at worth at least 100k plus. That's how good he is. Now let's move on to the things that I didn't like about him. Now bear in mind, I do love this guy. I think he's amazing. He exceeded my expectations. He's well balanced. He can do pretty much everything that you want your winger, straight midfielder to do. Um, his weak foot is awful. He's got a two star weak foot. It might as well be half a star or one star because don't even bother using it. It's not going to do you any favours. You're just going to regret using it. Um, it's not very good at all. However, his left foot is that good that you know it made up for it. And when you combine all the attributes that he's got, it didn't really affect um, how I used him. He also has um, medium attacking and medium defensive work rates. Now, at first, I thought, you know, it's not what you want. If you're using him as a left forward like I was, you want a high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate but because of his long passing when he was deep he was able to distribute the ball you know split defenses so the work rates worked in his favor because of his ability the only other thing you have to consider is the league he plays in it'll be very hard to fit him into some squads but he is Argentinian which is good nationality so you can fit him in like I did into this squad his free kicks are average but he has decent penalties as you can see there so let's review overall. He's got amazing passing, one of the best passes I've used. You know, you can pick a pass out 40, 50 yards. It doesn't matter how long it is, he'll get the ball. Therefore, he's finished his clinical better than his car stats. He's an insane dribbling. It's one of his best attributes. He's well balanced. He can do it all and he's reasonably priced. You know, really good price for that. The only bad thing is, is they've got a two-star weak foot. He's got a medium attack and a medium defensive work rate. And he doesn't play in one of the most popular leagues, but that's not his fault. So overall, I give him a 9 out of 10. He's Weak foot was the main reason for dropping a point off him, but otherwise he's absolutely amazing. And if you can manage to work your game around without needing to use his weak foot, then you won't be disappointed. I recommend getting him. He's an absolute steal and he's a great player to use for the money. So guys, if you like this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.